friends, it's Miss Jamie with Preschool on our screens for day three. I am so glad that you're here. If you're joining me for preschool, just leave a little comment. Let me know where you're from. I am so glad that you are here again today. We should wake up my very special helper named Betsy the Blackbird and see if she would like to come out and do preschool with us too. Are you ready? Come on, let's see here, ready? Call her, say, Betsy, are you in there? Let's see, call her, Betsy, are you in there? Here she comes. <gasps> Hello, boys and girls, how are you today? All of the friends at our preschool are at home today. Are you at home too? Well, don't worry, because we can sing and play and learn right here together. When we get started, we always have to say hello to the people who are with us. Would you like to help me sing hello to Betsy? All right, let's do it all together. Ready? Hello, Betsy. How are you? And I'm going to sing hi to you. Ready? Hello, friends. How are you? And can you sing hello to me? Can you say hello, Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie, how are you? We're so glad to see you. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. We're all here together. Yay, thanks for coming to preschool. Today we're gonna to talk about rainbows and rainstorms and thunderstorms. Have you ever heard a thunderstorm? It rained here at my house last night, but it was just a little bit of rain. There was no thunder. When there's just a little bit of rain, it can sound like this. This is a rain stick. Listen to how it sounds when there's a little bit of rain. Can you hear that little bit of rain? Could you make a rain sound on your lap like this? Just tap a little bit. Can you make it sound like rain? Yes, when it's just raining a little bit, it sounds actually really nice. But sometimes the rain gets louder and it starts to come down really heavy and it sounds like this. Can you make really loud rain? Really loud on your lap? Yes, sometimes the rain comes really hard and sometimes there's even some thunder and the thunder sounds like this. Boom! Rain, 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 rain. Can you do it? Boom. Rain, 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 rain. Boom. It can be a little bit scary. Sometimes instead of a friendly rain cloud, it sounds a little scary. And the sun is hiding behind the clouds. When it rains really hard like that, it's important that we remember that the rain is always going to end. The storm will stop eventually. Sometimes it's a short storm and it's over in five minutes and sometimes it's a long storm and it might last an hour or two hours but the storm always stops and the sun always comes out again. Every single time the sun comes out again. Sometimes we're really lucky and the storm clouds are still in the sky when the sun comes out. And if the storm clouds are still in the sky, when the sun comes out at the same time, the light and the water from the raindrops do something really spectacular. Can you guess what happens when the light from the sun rays and the water from the rain clouds come together? They make a red, what's this color? Can you say it? Orange, what color's next? Yellow, green, what color comes next, do you know? Blue, and purple, they make a rainbow. 
This is what a real rainbow looks like up in the sky. Do you see that? It happens when the storm clouds and the sunlight come together. So light from the sun and the raindrops from the storm clouds come together and they make a rainbow. You can make your own rainbow at home, even if it's not raining. Would you like to see how to do that little science experiment? To make your own rainbow at home, I'm gonna move this back here. To make your own, uh oh, my storm cloud fell down. Did you see him jump off the board there? To make your own rainbow at home, what you need is some water, just like you would get out of a rain cloud, and some light. If it's, oh, that's a bright one. If it's not sunny at your house, you could use a flashlight. Look what color that light is. It's white, but really it's not white. It's sort of a trick on your eyes. White light is actually all of the colors mixed together, all seven colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, all together. But we can make the colors separate. Let me see if I can figure out a good way to do this. If we put a, a glass of water, and if you have a mirror, you could put a little bit of a mirror in there, and then you're gonna shine your bright light right on the water and the mirror, and down here on the paper, you'll be able to see a rainbow. If it doesn't work like that, you might have to pick it up. If you pick it up, then you can look down on the paper and the light and the water together will make a rainbow. And a rainbow is a sign that everything is gonna be okay. The storm has passed and it's beautiful again. So you can make your own rainbow with some water and a mirror and a flashlight. And you have to try to catch it down on the paper. Would you like to try that science experiment later today? That's a good one. We can also play with colors. Hold on, I've got something for you. Here it is. We can also play with colors together like this. For this one, let's see how I can hold this so you can see it. For this one, um, it's an art project that you might try to do at home. This is an easy art project and I think you'll love it. To make this art project, all you need is a paper towel and three cups of water. So my water is blue, red, and yellow. Do you remember what we call those colors? Blue, red, and yellow all together? Those are called the primary colors. And we can mix the primary colors and make a really cool painting. To do this, the tool that you need is an eyedropper. So you might have a medicine dropper. Maybe your grown up can help you wash off a medicine dropper and use a medicine dropper or a little eyedropper. Any of these will work. If you have a science kit at home, maybe there's a pipette in your science kit. That would work too. Or if you've got really strong hands, you might use a medicine squirter like this. Or if you don't have any of those droppers, I'm gonna show you a how you could also just use a drinking straw to do this art project. So for this art project, what you have to do is squeeze the, the bulb on the eyedropper, stick it in your color, and then suck it up. Look, <gasps> the color just squeezes up into the eyedropper, and you can squeeze it down on the paper towel. Let's pick another color. Do you think we should do yellow or blue next? Which one would you like to do? Let's try yellow. So I'm gonna squeeze it, get it up in there, and then when I squirt it down on the paper towel, look, some parts are yellow, some parts are red, and in the middle, they turn orange. Isn't that neat? You could make a rainbow right on your paper. Let's add blue next. So I'm gonna stick it in there, fill up my eyedropper, and then drip it down onto the paper towel. <gasps> look! Some of the paper towel is still yellow, some is blue, and where the colors mix together, it turned green. You could decorate your whole paper towel with squirts of color. It's like a tie-dye paper towel all over. And watch how the colors soak into the paper towel and mix together 
to make new colors. If you do not have an eyedropper, here's another easy way to do this. For this one, you can just take a regular old drinking straw. You have to practice your coordination. So you're gonna stick the drinking straw into the water, cover up the top with your finger, and then when you pick it up, look, the color stays in the straw. And so when I let it go, boop, it just goes right onto the paper towel. Watch again. I'm gonna stick it in, cover up the top, and when I pull it up, do you see how this straw still has all of the colored water in there? So then I move it over to the paper towel and watch my finger, up, oh, oh, I could do it like that. So if you don't have an eyedropper, you can just use a straw. Watch, here it goes. Ah, did you see it fall down onto the paper towel? And this art project, when it dries, you could even hang that paper towel up on your fridge like a rainbow. When we are talking about rainbows, it makes me think of the letter R. You can make a sign for the letter R like this, like you're crossing your fingers, hoping for a rainbow, right? The letter R looks like this. This is the big R. It has a straight line down and a top bump and then a little leg. And the little r looks like this. Straight line down, up with a bump. The letter r makes the sound er, like it's mad. Can you make the er sound? Er. We're going to play a letter r game with some words that start with the letter r. Can you help me name some words that start with the letter r? name has a letter R in it. Do you have a name with a letter R in it? My name does not have a letter R. Does your name have a letter R? Here are some words that start with R. <gasps> robot starts with R. Can you say robot? Listen to the R sound. R robot. R robot. Do you hear the R at the beginning of that word? Here's another one that starts with R. It's a Rocket. Rocket starts with R. Can you say rocket? Good job. The next one is a little animal that might live in the forest. It's called a raccoon. Can you say raccoon? Raccoon starts with R. Here's another one. Oh, it's a little raindrop. Raindrop starts with R. Do you know the name of this animal? You might see it at the zoo. It's big and gray and has a horn on its nose. It's called a rhinoceros. Sometimes we just say rhino, short. Can you say rhinoceros? Rhinoceros starts with R. This is a pretty flower. It's called a rose. Rose starts with R. Can you say rose? Good job. Two more. This is a road. You might drive your car on it or ride in your car on it. It's a road. Road starts with R. And the last one I have is a racket. You might play tennis or badminton with this. It's a racket. Can you say racket? Good. Racket starts with R. All of these words start the same. We're going to choose a picture and play the letter R game. Are you ready? I have to hide the letter R. So close your eyes. No peeking. Are you ready? Here goes. Peek. <laughs> Let's say the poem together. Each of these start the same. Choose a picture in the letter R game. Which picture do you think the R is hiding under? Where's the letter R? Call it really loud so I can hear you. Oh, there's a lot of kids giving ideas. I'm going to start with the, I think I heard someone say raindrop. Let's try. Nope, the R was not under the raindrop. What's your next guess? Oh, the robot? It's a cool robot. I think that's a good choice. <gasps> nope, it wasn't under the robot. What do you think? Where could the letter R be? Under the rhinoceros? Let's see if the R is hiding under that big rhinoceros. 
No, not that time. What did I hear you say? Oh, the rocket ship? Let's try rocket and see if the letter R is under there. Are you ready? <gasps> it is, you were right. The R was under the rocket. Good job, friends. Would you like to play one more time and see if we can find the letter R for rainbow? Let's put the raindrop and the robot and the rhinoceros and the rocket ship together. This time we're gonna hide the little r. It makes the same sound as the big r, but we use it in the middle of the words. Rrr, same sound. Okay, hide your eyes. No peeking, no peeking, no peeking, no peeking. Good job hiding your eyes. Can you say the poem with me? Each of these start the same. Choose a picture in the letter R game. Okay, where do you think that little R is hiding? Can you say it really loud so I can hear you? Oh, under the racket? We can try under the racket. No, but that was a good guess. Where do you think the letter R, the little R, is hiding? You think it's under the rose? We can try that pretty flower, rose. Nope, the letter R was not hiding under the rose. Let's do another one. Raccoon, we can try that. Good guess, the R was not under the raccoon. What's next, where's the letter R? Under the raindrop, let's try it and see. Are you there, R? No, it wasn't under the raindrop. There are only four pictures left. Where could that little R be hiding? Say it so I can hear you really loud. In the road. Let's see if he's under the road, ready? Little R, where are you? He was, look, the little R was hiding under the road. All of those letters start with the, all of those words start with the letter R. You're so smart. Thank you for playing that game with me. We've been talking all about rainbows and rain and what happens when it storms. Whenever it's raining outside, what do you usually use to keep your head dry? You might wear a raincoat with a hood. Maybe you have some really cool rain boots and you can splash in the puddles. That would be fun. What I use when it rains, maybe you have one too, is a big, do you know what this is? I just undid the Velcro, so it closes up like this, and I took the Velcro off, and what's gonna happen if I push the button? Do you know what this is? It's an umbrella. Here, watch me push the button. Woo! It went all the way up. We can use an umbrella when it rains to keep our head dry. Boys and girls, it has been such, oh, my rain stick just fell. It has been such a nice morning spending time with you. Coming here together with you is the sunshine of my day. Thank you for coming. Do you think that we should sing a little goodbye song to our friend Betsy? She's taking a nap down on my lap. Can you call her? Can you say, Betsy, wake up? Can you say that? Betsy, wake up. <gasps> Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for coming to preschool today. It's time for us to sing goodbye to you and to Betsy, but I hope that you will be back again tomorrow. I printed, okay, here it goes, ready? Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends, all of our friends. Wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to go home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! And parents, thank you boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me. Parents, I left a link up in the video description with the printable pack for today. 
I thought I had mine printed right here, and I don't. But if you go to the printable, there's a spot for kids to decorate their own umbrella and draw themselves underneath it. There's a place where they can practice the letter R, a place where they can use those watercolor paints to paint their name, and also some shapes practice. So of course, my recommendation is always get out and play, create, build, think, be artistic. But if you need a little quiet time, there's a printable pack for you in the description. Thank you for joining me, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye, everybody.